Cinema 4D is well known for its motion graphic tools and features that allows it to be the best at graph creation for many professional and beginner artists. On the other hand, Blender has a growing community of motion graphics artists, yet it still lacks some convenient MoGraph tools that Cinema 4D offers. So in this video, we are going to talk about GMoGraph, which is a Blender add-on that offers a similar set of MoGraph tools and features that Cinema 4D has. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create 4 high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. The add-on is created by Jean Ji, a motion designer who has been working in the motion industry for more than 10 years, and he realized that there was a serious need for such a tool in Blender. GMoGraph offers a similar workflow to Cinema 4D most featured MoGraph system which is a very powerful for creation MoGraph work. To use this add-on, you need only 3 steps to create a common MoGraph effect using geometry nodes. The first step is creating a cloner, then an effector and lastly a field control. You can use this add-on to create amazing looking fracture motions, laser scannings, and mapping image color to instances effects. Now let's talk about the process of creating motion graphics artworks with this add-on. First you need to choose one of three cloner modes which are grid mode which allow you to create a framework of spaced bars that are parallel or cross each other. It works the same way as Cinema 4D Classic Grid mode. Or you can work with the linear mode which is arranging in or extending objects along a straight or a nearly straight line. Also it works like Cinema 4D Classic Linear mode. And lastly we have the object mode which can use the geometry normal space to define the rotation axis of the instance. The cloner node also offers many other really useful parameters like pick to instance or keep original, collection to instances and separate collection switch. After choosing the cloner mode, you need to choose an effector to control the transformation of the instances. There are 6 types of effectors, first is random effector, which affects the position, rotation and scale values in a random way. Second is the noise text effector, which affects the values in space through a noise node. This effector has so many parameters to play with to make some really great creative effects. Third is the image text effector, and you can guess from the name that it uses images to affect the value in space. You can even use the UV map space. Fourth is the step effector. In this effector, the step of change of the value is based on the index order of the instance. You can press tab after selecting the node to get more control over it. Fifth is the plane effector, which help you add base movement changes to your instances. And lastly is the target effector, which orient the axis of the instance toward the target. Now after choosing the effector, you need to add a field control, and the add-on offers 4 of them. The first one named as simple, which usually controls with an empty object and can change the appearance to a sphere or a cube with rounded control parameter. Second is noise, which controls the field by mapping a texture on it. The third is object, which uses an object, whatever it is, as a controller for the field. And lastly is linear, which orient the axis of the instance toward the target. Now that's all you need to know to be able to create motion graphics using this add-on. Also maybe there will be more cool notes and features added to this add-on because the creator promises to add more Cinema 4D MoGraph features to this note kit and even add a bit of other more powerful stuff. and. Also, we can see that the add-on is already being improved 
by looking at the update history and the 1.4 update. Now the add-on comes with 4 licenses, a personal license which acquires attribution for $29 a pro license for $39 that offers no attribution required, plus some example files, a studio license for multiple users and the light preview version which includes linear cloner, a random effector and a simple field control. Now tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on, I just love to have these conversations with you guys. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.